We have news on a bill that would ensure low-wage service workers will have temporary job protections when their employer's service contract is terminated. It's a measure that has divided the council. Those who support it held a press conference this week. They say the bill provides protection for those low-income workers who could be harmed by interruptions in their income. It essentially gives uh, service workers, some of the lowest paid workers in the county, a 90-day notice if their employer decides to vacate a contract. And it's been in place in the District of Columbia for 18 years with no problem. And so when you uh, sponsor legislation, one of the first things you do is you do research to see where the bill is in practice and whether or not there are any issues in, involved in it. And we've had this bill since last June. It's been over a year. And I went to the chair of the HHS committee in May and asked, the bill, asked for the bill to be put on the committee agenda. And it's August, and it, it didn't go to committee until yesterday. So clearly, there are members of the council who would rather not see this kind of uh, worker-friendly legislation be passed in Montgomery County, but I am going to uh, see this through to the end. However, Council President Roger Berliner says the bill needs work. It was actually extraordinary to have a work session on Monday and bring it to full council on Tuesday. So only if everybody was really very comfortable was I going to be comfortable with that. Uh, once I understood that a majority of people weren't comfortable, then it made it clear to me that we don't need to rush this. There is no emergency situation that calls for us to rush it. And we need to be thoughtful legislators and approach it in that manner.